are getting ready to yank this turd out of here. So, uh, yeah, I'm out here at the parents' house. We got the truck in the garage where there's some room here. We are going to get some fluids out of this thing. We are going to get uh, basically all the stuff out of the way to pull this engine and trans out today. Um, like I said, we got to get, we got to be extra careful because it was freshly painted, but we got to get the bumper, the grill, the headlights, core support out of there and the hood. I don't think I'm, I think I'm going to keep the fenders in there. Uh, and then I got to get some stuff taken off and get sent to powder coating. But the goal is today, get this uh, TBI out of here. So here we go. Let's get started. Just like that, the old oily, covered, nasty TBI motor is out. And uh, yeah, we can start getting the frame cleaned up, which it isn't really horrible. Uh, I've seen a lot worse, of course, probably just power wash it off. And uh, yeah, swap out some fuel lines, clean up this wiring harness. A lot of this will be removed, of course, because the LS uh, 
swap so a lot of it will be removed and uh, what's not removed will be cleaned up and re-loomed it looks like a lot of this loom just came off of here uh, but yeah we're gonna get a uh, probably pull this thing outside get it as clean as we possibly can and uh, yeah go from there but the engine is out now it's time to put the LS engine in there uh, I got the heads torqued on this morning uh, I'll probably end up making two different videos I hope hopefully there's enough but I got to get the trunnion upgrade done and get the push rods in and everything torqued down and I mean the engines basically ready too so hopefully we can get that done and going that is the goal um, and then I guess the next plan of action is to get <clears throat> some of this dirty stuff nasty stuff out to powder coat uh, I haven't really decided if I want to get that cleaned up and powder coated I mean all that stuff's just gonna go black uh, I think that stuff might be powder coated just because it's easier and it'll look better and last longer um, but this here core support I'm not thinking I'm gonna disassemble it all the way to powder coat it because anything rubber anything plastic uh, anything of that nature has to go so I mean you're talking all these little these little guys for your uh, your grill to go in so every single grill bolt's gonna have to be you have to get all new plastics for it and I think that'll just be too much so I think a good power washing a good cleaning and I think a good painting that'll be more than fine uh, I'm getting a new radiator because screw that radiator I'm getting a 6.5 radiator or a big block radiator and we'll have to find these mounts somewhere maybe a parts truck somewhere somehow but either way we're gonna have to find a rear end too uh, because this one when I drove it out here decided it wanted to uh, everything wanted to let loose basically so when I pulled this truck in here and I moved it around the past couple times it's all been in four wheel drive uh, come to find out it had a real bad pinion leak because the pinion bearing was going out so the pinion bearing is completely shot when I took the rear drive shaft out it was just demolished and I don't know if it was caused from a bad u-joint from before because that's drive shaft in here it does have a bad u-joint and uh, I mean everything's just trashed and to be honest with you 342s do not need to be turning these I think they're 35s or 37 inch tall tires like that just I mean they're 325 50 22 so they got to be 37s 36s maybe 35s i don't know but they're freaking big i mean in a in a six liter 4l60 combo should be at least a 373 so that's going to be the goal it might suck a little bit because we're going to have to take this this out to the front front axle out all this stuff because he just put a new lift on it not very long ago so we might have to either have this front diff rebuilt or i'm gonna have to buy a whole new parts truck and piece and part it together i found a couple without a title but i haven't really just wanted to jump on them just yet because i haven't really decided and sat down what i wanted to do i mean if i gotta re-gear the front diff then i might as well just redo the whole back diff but it's still a 10 bolt so if i can find a 14 bolt six lug truck that would be 100 percent ideal like this truck and my other truck but we'll see but LS engine is about to go in. We gotta get some cleaning and we'll be done.